How to get an invisible torso in GTA 5 Online after the patch of 1.64. So in today's video, I'll be showing you the easiest method and an updated method on how you can get the invisible torso after the new drug war DLC. So yes, this is an updated method and has been working before. And yeah, maybe you've done this glitch before or maybe you haven't. So really easy method. Before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to my top three new subscribers. So that's going to be... Um, who do we got? So we got Roman, Christopher, and X Pro DJ. I don't really know how to say that name. If you don't want to get a shout out on any of my future videos, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. So it's literally the rest subscribe button. Just click on it, and you could possibly get a shout out in my future video. What I do is I just pick three random people that have recently subscribed to me, and I just <clears throat> will put them in my video. Just make sure you have your subscription on public, so you know your name will show up. But let's get straight into the video. So the first thing we will do is going to make our way to any clothing store. Once we made our way to a clothing store, what you're going to have to do, you need to equip the pants that you want this outfit to be with and make sure you don't have any tops. <clears throat> After you've done that, you're going to have to go to utility vests. You're going to have to equip number 43. So utility, the peach play carrier. So number 43, you equip that. Now, once you have equipped this one, what you're going to have to do, you need to make your way to accessories which should be right over here if you went to the same um, one as I did. You could save it in like right away, but first gotta go to accessories. As you may join to accessories, you're gonna have to make your way to gloves and you're gonna equip any gloves that actually like kind of go with this outfit. So I ended up having the 10 joggers. So I ended up like trying to find some like gloves that kind of went with the 10 joggers. I just ended up going for these ones right here. And yeah, there we go. Now, once you did that, what you have to do, you need to go back to the counter Gonna click on browse outfits and you're gonna have to save this uh, this outfit in slot number one. Once you save this outfit in slot number one, you can name it one or two, it doesn't really matter um, what you name it. I ended up naming it 10 because I had the 10 joggers on it. Now, once you did that, you're gonna have to make your way to highest coveralls. Now, once you made your way to highest coveralls, what you're gonna have to do, you need to choose a highest coveral with the gas mask. So, in this case, is gonna be this one right here. Now, once you did that, what you have to do, you need to call out like a vehicle. It could be a personal vehicle and this glitch right here you can use personal vehicles the glitch will like keep working so it doesn't really matter what you use i ended up just getting my presser now once you got your like vehicle or whatever they're gonna use you're gonna have to make your way to any telescope so basically you just go to any telescope on the map it could be the one inside your apartment it could be the one um the one i'm going to which is going to be the one on the pier uh, so the one by the beach on the pier right here. This is the one I will be going for. I highly recommend this one because it's way easier to do the glitch after you went to this part right here. So you're going to have to run by it. You're going to have to spam right on the D-pad. <clears throat> now once you've done that, you're going to have to open your interaction menu, go to styles, and equip the outfit that we have just saved. Now walk away and you will see the gas mask appear on your character. Once the gas mask appeared on your character, what you have to do, you need to make your way to the mask store right here. So we can actually save the outfit. So that's why I said it's better to go over here because you can literally save it um, right away at the with the mask store. Now, once you've saved it in the mask store, well, you save it in the same slot. So slot number one. There we go. Now, once you did that, you're gonna have to open your interaction and go to online jobs, play jobs. You're gonna have to go to Rockstar Created and start up this mission called a Titan of a Job. So you start up a Titan of a job, and no, you do not need anyone for this mission out here. You could literally do it solo. Once you load it up in the mission, you're going to have to click on play. Now, once in the mission, I don't know what happened, like cut out. You're going to have to make your way to ammunition and equip any earpiece. So you will see you'll have this thing on your head. And now you're going to have to go to the vending machine. So I don't know what happened, really like cut out, I must have like cut that part out where I like went to ammunition, but it doesn't really matter. Make sure you go to the ammunition next to Simeon, so you'll see like an S on the map, and right next to it you'll see there'll be a, there should be like a ammunition, so go to that one right there. <clears throat> really don't know what happened with the footage, it must have been like, I don't know, maybe like, because uh, it was cut out for some reason. But yeah, you just make your way over here, so... Take the soda can. Make sure your like little like thing you have on your head is down when you go to the outfit. So as you can see right now, it's like down, <clears throat> and then I'll go right here and boom. Now once on this screen right here, you're gonna have to save it in slot number one. 
Make sure you don't save it when it's like above your head. When it's like covering most of your head, it has to be like down like this. Now make it with the boots and equip like any boots with this outfit right here or like any any shoes that will go good on this outfit. You will see it's half invisible, but we still have this little like um red crew t-shirt on us. So you save this in slot number one. I will show you how to actually remove this red. Um, <clears throat> so it will not stay on. It will go away. This red little t-shirt, kind of half t-shirt, it will go away. Just keep watching and then really simple. All you have to do is you need to equip the highest coveralls once again. You have to go back to your vehicle. Now once you made your way back to your vehicle, I'm going to speed this part out. You're going to have to make your way back to the, um, to the beach to do the telescope glitch once again. And yeah, like the one I showed y'all earlier. So yeah, pretty simple. Just go back over there and, you know, redo that glitch where you run by it, you spam right on the D-pad. And then once you've done that, what you have to do, you need to, well, equip the outfit that you have just saved. So as you can see, right on the D-pad. And then I equip the outfit that I've just saved through my interaction menu. So boom, you'll have the gas mask once again. And now once you've done that, you're going to have to make your way to this location right here. So basically where you have to go the mask store isn't gonna work the mask store is closed <clears throat> in the mission so you will not be able to save it in the mask store you're gonna have to make your way back to the ammunition so this ammunition right here the same one well i don't think that's the same one which we went that's a different one but it doesn't really matter you don't need the vending machine anymore and you're gonna have to save this outfit in slot number one now once you saved it in slot one what you have to do you need to leave the mission so just back out of the mission Now, once you backed out of the mission into online, um, there we go. You will see you still have like your t-shirt, like my, like reappear. But for one more thing that we need to do, so make sure whenever you're about to do this part here, it's invisible because if it's not invisible, the glitch will not work. What you have to do, you need to start up this mission called It's a G Thing. So, or any versus mission, or I mean, I think no, you need to start up Titan of a Job. My bad. So you start up Titan of a Job once again. No, you do not need it's a G thing. Just Titan of a Job. You start that up. You confirm the settings. And you click on play. There we go. I don't know why I said Titan or it's a G thing. This, all you need is Titan of a Job. And yeah, boom. You just load up until you'll see your torso is completely invisible. So now there's a few more things they need to do to actually save it and to keep it on. You're gonna have to we'll go back to the ammunition that we were just at. And you have, have to save this slot once again in slot number one. So there we go. You save it. <clears throat> so I do think it looks pretty cool, but there's a few more things that we need to do. And yeah, we'll show how to get the helmet as well. Just like you see in the thumbnail. So now you're going to have to equip an outfit with, um, um, with the helmet on. So literally any helmet. So whatever helmet. Me, I ended up going with a black bulletproof helmet. And once you did that, you're going to have to make your way, well, you're going to have to equip, like, this outfit right here that you have the helmet on. And no, you do not need the highest coveralls anymore, so you're not going to have to use that anymore. But basically, you just equip this one right here with the black helmet on. And you're going to have to make your way, well, back to your vehicle and make your way back to the telescope. So, just go back to the telescope, just like that. You're going to fly back over there or drive, whatever transport or vehicle you are using now once you made your way back what you're gonna have to do you need to redo the telescope glitch or spam right on the d-pad uh once you run by it and then you're gonna have to switch to the outfit that we have just saved and boom you will see that you have the black bulletproof helmet so i think it looks like 10 times better with the bulletproof helmet on this outfit so i don't know maybe i like it like this but me personally i just prefer it to with a like a bulletproof helmet or whatever color bulletproof helmet you have i'm gonna save this back in slot number one just like that after you've done the whole glitch it doesn't really matter where you save it you can save it in any slot after the glitch is done so you're not gonna have to like put it in slot number one now you're gonna back out of the mission once you backed out of the mission you're gonna load back into online and you will see that the alpha will like reappear again for some reason when you're in like a public session um, the invisible torso does go away, but in jobs like death matches or like races, it will not go away. It will stay completely invisible. I tried to like put a way to actually like 
um, make it invisible. I think I did find there might be a way with the belt. So if you get get, get like a cop belt on it, it might actually stay invisible. So I'll probably release a method on this probably in a, maybe like next week. So make sure I click that subscribe button. That way I don't miss it. And yeah, but for now, I tried every other method to actually keep it invisible, but really tried. It's still not fully like it doesn't stay invisible in normal sessions, but in death matches it still stays invisible. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.